Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a Java project on bug tracking system. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java IDE. You can choose any ID of your choice and a swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here's my main method. I am passing an object of bug class. This is a GUI form. So to create one, you need to go over here. In the project package, click on new, click on swing UI designer and then click on GUI form. Two files will be generated. I have named it as bug. This is the dot java file for the code and the dot form file for designing the interface. Let's check the interface first. My panel name is bug panel. This is a text area. These are the combo box. This is also, a, this is a text field. I have added two buttons over here, J buttons and I have named it as add record and update record. Okay, so uh, in here in the combo box, you need to add the model over here. I have like I have added, I have added few things over here. Okay, and then this is the J table. J table is added under the J scroll pane. Okay, this is it for the interface. Let's check the Java file. Here, these fields will be automatically added once you design the panel and uh, then you need to add this object of JFrame class and under the constructor, you need to add these lines so that whenever you create an object of bug class, this uh, form appears on the screen and you need to add your bug panel, which I have named it over here. Okay, the bug panel. So this set contain pane uh, requires a J panel as parameter. So you need to provide that and uh, then set size uh, the uh, you need to set the height and width over here so it tells uh, the size of this panel will be set from here okay by calling this method set size and set visible is set to true so that uh, the panel is visible okay this table data method is i have created on my own which is uh, passing the query and extracting all the data from the database and uh, storing it in this table J table okay Let, this is the listener for the add button you can add by clicking over here and then go to create listener the listener will be added and let's check the functionality of it uh, and what I'm doing here is uh, checking if the ID data and description are null or not if they are null then pass the value this pop up the message please fill all records to add bug okay after that uh, if if these are added okay uh, if the fields are not null then i am running this query insert into bug this is the table name and i am storing these values okay uh, and uh, this is the syntax for using the uh, prepared statement okay so as i am using and uh, as i am uh, storing this query into the prepared statement so this uh, this syntax is required okay this query is run and then we can use this statement variable okay over here and then call the set int and set string methods which is uh, available in this class set int uh, we call this because uh, if the data uh, into the database is of type integer then we call set int and if it's string we call set string okay the, uh, then we provide the column name and the data which has to be fed into the database so this is the data we are extracting from the id text it's a string so we are passing it and if it's not uh, we don't need to pass it okay like over here the fifth column uh, description dot get text we are just saving it like this only okay we don't need to pass because it's already in string format okay the get selected we uh, these are the combo box okay we can say uh, select the value from uh, the this method get selected item and that value will be extracted and then will be added under the second column, third column, fourth column respectively and from the status under the sixth column. Okay, then we call execute update to execute uh, uh, to store all the values into the database and then pop up the message item added successfully and then we are uh, setting these two fields to null. Okay, ca catching exception if there is any and uh, calling this table data to again extract the data from the database okay this is the listener for the update i am just running a different query which is this update bug what i am doing here is uh, 
setting the product, whatever is uh, selected by the user, the environment, the description, the status. Okay, anything you can update it. Where the bug ID? Okay, it's under the bug ID which you have provided. For the, that particular ID, you can update it. Okay, so I'm building the connection and uh, using the prepare statement again to run the query and then uh, using this execute update to update everything into the database then pop the message updated successfully catch exception if there is any and then call the table data method again okay this is the mouse listener you can add one by going over here in the table right click over here then click on create listener and then click on mouse listener okay your mouse listener will be added what we require is the two things from uh, here the row and the column okay so round is under the first column and first row so we want this uh, two indexes okay so to call this get value add method so what we do is uh, call this get model method and store it in this variable dm of type default table model and we can get uh, selected row easily by calling this method get selected row and then we want to set the values the id and description will be set uh, once you click on a selected row, particular row, and uh, it index, we are passing this index and the column name. Okay, so for any selected row under the zeroth column, the value stored is of data uh, ID value is stored. So that is extracted from the table and then value is set to this ID ID data. Okay, over here, this is named as ID data, and this is named as description. Okay and this is the table data i am only executing this uh, query select all from bug which is my table name and uh, i am storing the value in result set okay and uh, then i am calling this method set model and i am using default table model uh, okay uh, i am using build table model method which i have created on my own but it is similar to the method which is uh, available in the db utils class which is dbutils dot result set to table model method and uh, pass your result set to that it will work in the same way then catch exception if there is any pop the message accordingly okay okay this is it let's uh, run the program okay there is nothing into the database right now so it's not showing anything so let's uh, give the id Okay. Okay, uh, it gets added. And when you click on this, the mouse listener, okay, let's see mouse listener working. Yes, it's working. The bug ID is set to one and the description we are extracting from here. Okay. So uh, suppose we want to change anything. Okay, let's uh, change the status. So assign. Okay, and under first ID, update record. So it gets changed. Okay, okay, this is working. I hope you understood the working of the code. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas.